Half a face, complete memory loss, and a physical form so unstable you spend half your waking hours as a robot shaped cloud. All personal byproducts have been reincarnated by the universe's only multi faced cranium squatter, using nothing more than energon and sheer willpower. So when Arthur Q decided to bring Starscream back from the dead to cause some general carnage and didn't read the recipe book properly, the result was like watching Gary Busey after a 12 hour fruit pastel binge with a long sword and a teleporting ability. So yeah, Energon Starscream was damn cool. He was about as stable as a hungry walrus in a knitting class. That was until Megatron decided to lock him in a dark cupboard and penetrate him into bitch mode. Thus introducing everyone to generic bad guy number three. So after checking out these colours, the only conclusion that I can come to is that he was chased through a fruit salad factory reject bin by a cement monster. Although, the red doth spangle. This guy does have some cool detail though. Representing that messed up physicality are a couple of cracks and holes, as well as a full on shoulder of Haribo. Absent however, are the snarls and smirks of other Starscream figure that we might be accustomed to. In their place, a look so vacant and unintent that it would barely rival Teddy Ruxpin for ferocity. Any disappointment I feel is partially neutralised however by some top like piping. Check it out! He's got Dolby! Also, not available on the high street, the Robo Loafer. Oh and in a complete moment of admirable logic, not only does one of the most mentally ill robots in the universe have a really long sword, he has a really long sword with a gun in the handle. So when a John Starscream really does serve a posability with toffee sauce. My only problem being with his shoulders, dick. My only problem being with his shoulders would suffer from not being attached to his torso, itis. Instead, they're attached to two pieces of plastic so flimsy you could floss an ant with them. Being an Energon Decepticon, he of course has an attack mode. Points are definitely lost on this. I mean, it's nowhere near as hilariously uncomfortable looking as Demolisher's attack mode, and it doesn't come close to being as lovably unnecessary as Snowcats. <laughs> So, not a bad plane, not a good plane, just a plain plane. The kind of plane that might take the last bag of quavers, but he'd probably ask first. This could be called visible fist syndrome, and so could many bedroom accidents. Also, I don't quite know what's going on with all of this, but it looks like a mix between a totem pole and a sewing experiment. Although his robot legs do stick out a bit at the bottom, they do look pretty tidy. Not bad for a deluxe. Check out the weapon mounts. About as aerodynamic looking as a spaniel full of chicken dippers, but... Nah. You can also land thanks to landing gear. So late in the show a big Energon pool turns up. Starscream here decides to go for a paddle and thus he receives a power upgrade including a colour change and you'll never guess what. G1! Actually it's quite nice. It's good. So up until recently this was the only repaint of them all but then along came BotCon 2009 with Skyquake and Leozak and everyone filled their wallets with Castrol GTX. So yeah, Energon Starscream. I do really like this mold despite its flaws. This one's expensive, this one's better value for money. Here's a medley of the Sheriff Pig from Samurai Jack.